Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll be talking about a topic that'll become popular starting today, talking about a brand new feature that'll be launched with the Galaxy S20 series, and it's a feature that's very similar to AirDrop. So here was an article here talking about QuickShare as Samsung's alternative to AirDrop for Galaxy phones, but really I wanna let you guys know that you can do this already today. Even though I am very excited that they were able to rebrand it, rename it, and possibly just put it right up here inside of your quick settings, just called Quick Share. So really what's happening behind Quick Share is two different features or services that's already built into your Samsung phones for the past couple years. So how I've been sending large files to another person that's, let's say right next to me, I'm using this thing that is called Wi-Fi Direct. So for example, I have this video right here that's two minutes and 18 seconds, and another one that's a minute 28. Now, a really fast and easy way to get this one sent off is just by selecting one or two or multiple videos or photos. You click on the little share button, and then as you scroll on down, you hit on Wi-Fi Direct. Now, all the other person would have to do, if I was to move this over, they would have to just go inside of their settings and inside of Wi-Fi, click on Wi-Fi Direct, and now you're, you're able to send off your images and videos. Now, just like the, the quick share from Samsung, you would have to do this exact same thing. You would both have to go into this little feature and basically turn it on so this way you guys can find each other and then also pair up. Now that you are paired up, I'm gonna select that I am sending it to this phone, and then I just hit on share, and it's that simple. Really fast, really efficient. We're sending three gigs right now at this moment in time, uh, and it's going actually pretty quick. We're already over a quarter of the way done. We're now uh, one third of the way done. So really, there's no other way of sending this other than putting it into maybe a cloud storage, and that's actually the next one that we'll be talking about. So that's also a part of this upcoming feature of QuickShare with the Galaxy S20, which my guess all of these features of QuickShare will actually be passed back to the previous devices because it's literally the exact same thing. The engine that's pushing it to the person right next to you is Wi-Fi Direct, uh, and then what you'll be able to do when you send it to somebody maybe in a different city or a different state is gonna be slightly different. But hopefully with this newest little feature, it'll all be built into one place. So right over here, what you're able to do is you can see this thing right here that is called link sharing. So link sharing is literally the exact same thing, um, but you're actually putting it into a temporary cloud storage. It sits there for 24 hours uh, and you can send a certain amount of gigs and a certain amount of files per day. So how you're able to get this done is let's say one more time, I go right up over here, I find this video, I wanna hit on the share button. You have this option right here that is called link sharing. Now, once you do this link sharing, it's putting it into a temporary cloud folder uh, that will be right here. It is this link. Now, all you would have to do is either you can select any of these ways to share it with that person, or you just copy it and then you put it into a text message so they can see it. So right here is an example of what we were doing. Uh, this one says it's valid until January 24th, which today is the 23rd. And you can send this, this web share to really anybody. And then this is what they get. So this is the little pups that we're eating. They're able to watch the video. They can download it, do whatever they want to. It's all sitting right here, but a way that you're able to send a large file to another person uh, via a temporary cloud storage. So if we go right back into this article, uh, right over here, you know, they're talking about how it's just competing against Apple's features. Um, they're, they're cloning it, which really all they're doing is just making a one-stop shop to get it done. And if they copied Sam or if uh, Samsung copied Apple in this little retrospect, that's fine by me. Uh, really, it's who does it better. So as we keep on going down, you can read right over here talking about a total of two gigs, gigs being sent per day. These files can be up to one gig, which technically we just went a little bit more. Uh, you know, unlike other services like AirDrop, QuickShare will have a cloud aspect to it, which is what we just got done showing. Um, right up over here, we'll just talk about, uh, you know, when you're sending it to the person that's right next to you. And, and uh, also too, you can send it to other devices. So QuickShare tips, so sending it to SmartThings device, this is already there as well. 
So you'd be able to send this to another device. So if I show you that one, let's say again with this video, we hit on the little share feature. When you see this option right over here that is called send to device, that is exactly what that one was talking about. Again, you'd be able to go right up inside of here. Uh, you can share it with another Samsung TV or smart thing right from there. So this is literally exactly what Samsung is known for is rebranding, renaming and combining different features that was already there to create it just a little bit better. But I wanted you guys to know that if you guys are reading like, oh, cool, we get this airdrop like feature. Technically, you already had it for several years. It's just a rename and rebrand and putting it into maybe possibly one little icon right there um, that you're able to send it off and share with everybody else. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely, you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.